All right, for this example, we're asked to find the volume of the parallelopiped determined by these three vectors, u equals i plus 2j minus k, v equals negative 2i plus 3k, and w equals 7j minus 4k. So I've, I've drawn here uh, a parallelopiped given by three vectors, and the volume is going to be given by the area of the base times the perpendicular height. So um, notice that the cross product, or the, rather the magnitude of the cross product of u cross v, is going to give us the area of the base. It's also going to give us a vector coming up uh, perpendicular to, um, to this plane that u and v are on. And so uh, now we've got this perpendicular vector, and if we took the scalar component of, uh, vec of uh, vector w projected onto uh, this u cross, cross v, um, and let's say, let's call the angle between those theta, then um, the height is going to be given by the magnitude of w times the cosine of theta. That's our formula for the scalar projection of, uh, of w onto u cross v. Um, and, uh, and then, so if we've got the height there, and if we multiply that by the magnitude of u cross v, that's going to give us uh, the, the volume of that parallelopiped. Now this is going to be equal to the uh, uh, u cross v, let me rewrite that, u cross v um, dot w. This is called the triple scalar product. And it's going to it's going to give us if we if we take the absolute value of that, that's going to give us the volume of this parallelopiped. And it turns out that this uh, that this is going to be equal to the determinant of a three by three vector where the top row is the components of u, the uh, middle row is the components of v and the bottom row is the components of w. So this uh, three by three vector is gonna be one, two, negative one, and the middle row will be negative two, zero, and three, and w, the bottom row is gonna be zero, seven, and negative four. So if we find that determinant, then we're gonna find the, uh, the volume of this parallelopiped. Um, all right, so uh, so this is going, going to be 1 times the determinant of that, so 1 times uh, the determinant of 0, 3, 7, negative 4, minus uh, 2 times the determinant of negative 2, 3, 0, 4, uh, plus uh, negative 1, times the determinant of negative 2, 0, 0, and 7. Um, all right, so this is going to be equal to uh, 0 times negative 4 is 0, minus 21 times 1 is negative 21. Um, oh, I'm, all, I'm out of the room. Let me, let me go ahead and do this. Up here, this this is going to be uh, negative twenty one. Um, sorry, this should be negative four here. Uh, negative two times negative four is uh, positive eight minus zeros eight times negative two. So this is going to be negative sixteen. Um, negative two times seven is negative fourteen minus zero negative fourteen times negative one is positive uh, fourteen. Um, and if we add those all up, uh, negative 21 plus 14 is negative 7, minus 16 is negative 23. 
So the determinant of this matrix is negative 23. So that's, that's the, uh, the triple scalar product of, of these vectors is negative 23. And so the area, or the, rather the volume that we're looking for, the volume of this parallelopiped is going to be equal to the absolute value of negative 23, which is 23.